Welcome to Yo Girl Kai. My name is Kylie and I'll be your instructor. Today we're going to be doing a yoga flow for beginners. If you're intimidated going to a yoga class or you've never tried yoga before, this is the perfect basic yoga flow to get started. If you have done yoga, this will be a nice, easy yoga flow for you. Find a spot on your mat and let's get started. Find a comfortable seated position. This should be a comfortable seated position for you. So if sitting cross-legged isn't comfortable, you can extend the legs or you can even sit on a cushion or something else to lift your hips and make this position a little more comfortable. Rest your hands on your knees. Draw your shoulders back and down away from your ears. And we're going to get started with this yoga flow by connecting with our breath. Your breath is a very important part of your yoga practice and the breath will eventually guide your yoga flow and your yoga movement. So take your eyes closed and simply start to notice your breath as it comes in through your nose and out through your nose. Good. Keep breathing in through the nose. and out through the nose. We're gonna breathe together to my count. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Deeper, inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one, take your eyes open, and now we're going to connect a nice rhythmic yoga breath with movement. As you inhale this time, peel the chest open, start to look up. Exhale, curve your spine, tuck your chin, your belly button flies back. Good, inhale, open, look up. Exhale, curve your spine, tuck your chin, move through this a few more times, following the pace of your own breath. On your next inhale, come to a nice neutral seated position. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, gently twist. Gaze over your right shoulder, do a gentle spinal twist here. Keep breathing through the nose. Inhale, look forward, reach your arms up. And exhale, switch sides, gently twist, look over the left shoulder. Good. Inhale back through center, reach the arms up nice and tall, and exhale, release, plant your hands in front of you, and make your way into a kneeling position on all fours. From your all fours position, we're going to repeat the same movement, the cat-cow position, so as you inhale, peel the chest open, look forward or progressively up. Exhale, curve your spine, tuck your chin. Again, inhale, drop the belly, gaze forward or up. Exhale, curve the spine, tuck your chin. Two more following your own breath. The inhale to a neutral position and the next posture I'm going to show you is a child's pose so you're going to take your knees out nice and wide the big toes close together 
and then allow your hips to move back. Walk the hands forward, place your forehead on the mat. We'll stay here for the next few breaths, but child's pose is going to be really important if you ever feel like you're tired, out of breath, or you simply don't want to do what we're doing. You can meet in child's pose and breathe until you're ready to join the yoga flow again. Good, let's gently plant the hands. You're going to curl your toes under. We're moving into a downward facing dog. So lift the hips and your heels don't have to touch the mat. Your heels can be up. You can even soften your knees to make this posture a little bit easier. But you're working on opening up through the shoulders and eventually you'll be able to lengthen out the legs. But if you start curving your back like this, just bend the legs, push the hips back. Good, gently tiptoe to the top of your mat, bend your knees as much as you need to to get there, and allow the head to hang heavy. Roll up one vertebrae at a time, your head comes up very last. And we'll meet in a nice standing position. From here, you're going to inhale, reach up nice and tall, catch hold of your right wrist, and exhale, reach over to the left. You can stay here, or you can release the left hand down and reach a little bit deeper into the side body stretch. Inhale through center. Catch hold of your left wrist and exhale, lean over to your right side from a nice side body stretch. Maybe release and move deeper into the side body. Inhale, reach up, reach nice and tall. And exhale, arms down. You should be facing the top of your mat. We're going to take a modified or half sun salutation. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, start to hinge forward, bend your knees as much as you need to and look towards the knees. Inhale, come up halfway, place your hands on your shins, look forward. And exhale, fold forward again. Feel free to bend the knees, look towards the knees. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up, palms press. And exhale, hands to heart center. We're going to do that same movement one more time. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, fold forward, bend if you need to. Inhale, hands to shins, lengthen through the spine, look forward. Exhale, fold, look towards your knees. Deep inhale, sweep the arms up, palms press, look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're going to move through Sun Salutation A and we'll take modifications as we go. On your inhale, reach up nice and tall. Exhale, fold forward, look at the knees. Inhale, up halfway, lengthen. Keep looking forward, you're going to plant your hands on the mat, step back, and come to your knees. On your exhale, you're going to take a half push-up with your elbows tight to your ribcage. Inhale, look up. Exhale. You can modify by curling the toes under the floor, or it's a little more advanced to roll over the toes into your downward facing dog. Remember, the heels don't have to be down. The legs don't need to be straight. Modify however you need to. We'll be here for three. Two. 
to one you're going to inhale find the length through the spine by pushing into your mat exhale look towards your hands we're going to tiptoe to the top of the mat bring your hands to your shins inhale look forward exhale fold forward to look towards the knees inhale sweep the arms all the way up palms press and exhale back to your equal standing posture we're going to move through that one more time. Keep breathing, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward, look towards your knees. Inhale, come up halfway, lengthen through your spine. Keep your gaze forward, plant the hands, step back. Take your half push up either on the knees or in a plank. Inhale. Looking up, roll the shoulders back. And exhale to your downward facing dog. We'll be here for the next three breaths. This is also a great opportunity to be in a child's pose if you need to take child's pose. Meet in your downward facing dog. As you inhale, push into your mat, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend your knees, look to the top of your mat. And we're going to tiptoe up to the top. Hands come to your shins. Inhale, lengthen your gaze forward. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up, palms press. And exhale, equal standing posture. We're moving on to Sun Salutation B. So bend your knees, inhale to a chair position. Exhale, fold forward, look at the knees. Inhale, come up halfway, lengthen. Keep your gaze forward, plant the hands, step, or even hop back to your half push-up, Chaturanga. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, look up. Exhale, lift the hips. Come to your downward facing dog. Now, right away, the right foot is going to shoot between the hands. You might get your foot as far forward as you can. Take the right hand and then assist it forward. Take your left knee down to the mat. And you can take the hands either to the knee or you can keep them down. We'll be here for three more breaths. Good, you're going to take the right leg back. Your knees are next to each other and take your half push up Chaturanga, modified. Inhale, look up, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, make your way into your downward facing dog. Right away, left foot shoots forward. So again, shoot it as far forward as you can. The left hand will assist it in coming a little bit closer to the top of your mat. Right knee comes down. You can keep the fingertips down on the mat or to go a little bit deeper into the stretch. Bring your hands to your knees. We'll be here for three. Two. And one. Plant the hands. Take the left leg back. Move into your half push-up, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, take your knees wide, big toes close together. Hips come back into child's pose. Allow yourself to relax.
So I do want to, when you're ready, plank the hands, curl the toes under, lift the hips into your downward facing dog. And we're going to tiptoe to the top of your mat. Hands to shins, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward, look at the knees. Now bend the knees, inhale up to your chair position. And exhale, release. Now, when you're ready, you're going to step your right foot back, arms in a T, feet are parallel. The right toes turn and face the back of your mat. You're going to bend your right knee and bring your right elbow to your knee. Reach the left arm up to the sky. We'll be here for three breaths. Work on that left hip moving down a little bit more. You might even widen the stance. We're here for two more breaths. Look down at your right big toe. Inhale, stand up. Feet are parallel. Now turn the left toes to face the front of your mat. Bend the knee, take your left elbow to knee, right arm up to the sky. And again, working on taking that right hip lower as you keep breathing for three more breaths, we'll stay here. Look down at your left big toe. Inhale up to standing. And exhale, step to the top of your mat, nice and tall. We're going to move into a standing balancing posture called tree pose. So you're gonna start with your right foot. I'm going to grow some roots down into my mat to my right foot. And then I'm going to take my left foot modified. You're gonna keep your big toe down on the mat for balance. Your heel just rests on the inside of your leg. A little more advanced, you might take your foot to your inner calf, but avoid placing your foot on the knee joint. Hands come to heart center. Find a point in front of you that's not moving. We'll be here for three. Two. And one, gently release the posture, roll out your ankles. We'll move on to the other side. So plant your left foot down, grow some roots into your mat so you're nice and stable. And you're going to match the foot position you did on the other side. So whether you kept the big toe tucked down for balance or your foot came to the inside of the calf, hands come to heart center. Good, gently release the posture, roll out your ankles, and we'll meet at the top of your mat. You're going to tuck your chin and roll down one vertebrae at a time. Feet can be hip width apart, your knees can bend as much as they need to. From the standing forward fold, gently nod your head yes. Gently shake your head no. Now inhale, hands to shins, lengthen your spine, look forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step or hop back. Take your half push up, chaturanga. Inhale, look up, roll the shoulders back. Exhale to your downward facing dog. And from here, move to your knees and make your way into a seated position. We're going to be moving on to our back for some closing postures. So gently make your way there. I'm going to take my right ankle, cross it over my left knee, and we're going to be stretching the right hip and glute area. I'm going to reach 
behind my left knee, interlace my fingers. If you're not able to reach, you can grab a towel and roll it up and then kind of like lasso the space behind your leg. You might even use your elbow on the right knee to open up the hip as you hug the knees closer towards your chest. Good, now we're going to lift our forehead up towards our left knee. I don't expect you to touch your forehead to your knee, but we're just trying to find just a moment of exertion and a deeper stretch. Inhale, lift, forehead towards the knee. We're here for three, two, and one. Release the head back to the mat. Keep your legs in this position. You're going to take your arms out into a T. And on your next exhale, take both legs over to the left. And then you're going to gaze over your right shoulder. We'll be here for three. Both shoulders should be pressing onto the mat. Two. And one, inhale through center. And Switch legs, left ankle comes just above your right knee. You're going to interlace your fingers behind the knee. You might use your left elbow to open up the left hip. You might start gently pulling the knees in towards your chest. You're still breathing. Good. Now we're going to lift our forehead up and try to get close to the right knee. So inhale, lift. Forehead moves towards the knee. We're here for three, two, and one. Release your shoulders and head back to the mat. Keep your legs in this position. Arms in a T. On your next exhale, take both knees down to your right. Gaze over your left shoulder and we'll be here for the next few breaths. Allow yourself to breathe into your left glute and hip and even your spine. Gently inhale back through center, release the legs, hug your knees into your chest, draw circles with the knees, massage out the lower back, switch directions, or you can simply just rock side to side if that's not comfortable. And now we're going to slowly start to rock up and down the spine, start small. And then eventually rock all the way up into a comfortable seated position. Remember, a comfortable seated position for you. You don't have to look any certain way. Rest your hands on your knees. Or if you'd like to, you can take one hand over your heart, one hand over your belly. We'll end our yoga flow by taking our last few breaths together. Take your eyes closed, lengthen through the spine. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Deeper, inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Your deepest breath today. Inhale, four, three, two, one, open your mouth, audible exhale, hands come to heart center. Thank you so much for practicing yoga today. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for our yoga flow for beginners.
please let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more yoga flows like this or if there's any postures that you'd like to see modifications for. Thank you guys so much.